Hello and welcome to today's Daily Rift. Um, shifting Illusion. That's what we got. So, um, As usual, not a lot's changed since the last time we were here because we didn't get anything interesting in terms of legendaries or anything like that. Um, however, we did get this map, and this map can be a pain in the butt. So, Hopefully it's not going to be, um, but we've already got a fair amount of... Uh, stuff to deal with. So that's always good fun. Anyway, so yeah, the uh, I think it was a hand crossbow I picked up in Izukob uh, in the last video. That was not really anything. I knew that was going to happen eventually. So I was watching back the last video actually. Just um, I usually watch them back before I upload them because I want to make sure the quality... Wow. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Okay, so I was watching back the uh, previous video, and I noticed that there was a point in that video where I'm like, oh gods, I'm about to die, and I hadn't used my potion. Um, so that was really foolish of me, and I'm going to hope that I don't do that again, because I actually felt pretty embarrassed about that once I noticed it in the video. But of course, because I don't want to like mess around too much, I left it in, I didn't re-record the video or anything like that, because no, I'm not proud enough, well... The best way to say it is that I'm not embarrassed to say that I am actually terrible at this game. Um, it may not look that look like that sometimes, but I'm generally not that great at it. Um, if you want to watch really good Diablo 3 videos, this is not the thing you watch. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm not going to pretend that I'm good at it either. I just know a bit about it. Um, and I know what good players do. Um, in fact, if you want to see a really good Diablo 3 video, there's one floating around at the moment. I can't remember who it was. It was on uh, Diablo fans uh, yesterday. Um, and it was a video of a monk completing a rift in about a minute 16. A Torment 6 rift in about a minute 16. Um, and it's well worth watching, particularly if you want to see what you can do if you have a lot of ancients and if you have... Um, a lot, a really good build and a decent amount of skill. Um, it's a really interesting video to watch. It's just basically chain pulling enemies and killing them. Um, I can't remember the exact build. It's up on Diablo fans um, from the other day. Um, it's yesterday from when I'm recording this video, but it'll be last week from when you watch it because this is Monday's video, presumably. Assuming nothing goes wrong between now and the time I upload it. Um, so, looks like we just got a Paragon level. I didn't even notice that. Um, so that's cool. Uh, we'll have to... Uh, probably won't spend it just yet because there's just a lot of mobs through here at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, I was thinking after watching that video actually that I might have a crack at... Oh, I did try to heal then. Um, and that's actually happened to me a couple of times recently where I have hit the button to heal and for whatever reason the heal itself hasn't gone off. I don't think I was feared or not under control at any point there, it just, for whatever reason, the potion, the cooldown didn't fire, so. No, and I've had that happen a couple of times. There's actually a point in the last video, again, where um, I hit the heal button, and you can actually hear it in the video, you can hear me mashing the heal button and then it not healing, even though the cooldown for the heal is there, so. So sometimes that happens, it could be my keyboard, it could be anything. We just picked up a legendary crossbow, we'll find out what that is uh, at the end of the video. Um, but in general, uh, I try to... This might be a good time to spend that Paragon point, actually. And we're going for Resist All. So, there you go. Okay, um, I'm not a big fan of this map. I say that about a lot of maps, but you'll notice I don't say it about some maps. And those are the maps that I am a big fan of. Um, it's just the maps that I don't like. Um, this is, of course, one of the uh, Act 5 maps. Um, when you're on your way to uh, fight um, Magda. Uh, not Magda, um, Adria. Spoiler alert if you haven't actually played Reaper of Souls. But yeah. So, we'll work our way down here. This looks like a dead end. Of course it's a dead end, it's this map. And this map is full of dead ends. Like everything in this game. We're going back the way we can. We don't want to go that way, we'll go up. So, have to watch out for the uh, purple stuff in this map because it's poisonous and it'll damage you as you go through. So, keep an eye out for that. Um, so, what else has been happening? Not a lot, really. Um, 
probably, uh, by the time you watch this, I will have participated in the free weekend for Final Fantasy XIV that's uh, just running out. Um, I might give the impression that I play a lot of MMOs, and that's probably because I do actually play a lot of MMOs. Um, I don't exclusively play them, um, but I do spend a lot of time in them for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why. It's just uh, certain sort of events in my life have conspired to make me the MMO guy among people I know. So, But yeah, I'll probably put some time into Final Fantasy XIV uh, between the time I record this video and the time you watched it. Um, and um, I may even make a video on it talking about uh, what I like about the game, what I don't like about it. It's actually a really fascinating game, um, particularly as an MMO and particularly as an MMO that seems intent on hanging on to its uh, subscription model. Um, I talked last time about uh, MMO business models and Final Fantasy XIV is probably the only other one I can think of outside of World of Warcraft that is still sticking with a strict um, subscription based model. Um, and I'm not really sure how much longer that'll go for. I certainly don't feel it's a game I like enough to play, um, to pay for, to play. Um, it's an okay game, um, but I have a lot of issues with the combat in it. I find the combat in Final Fantasy XIV really slow. There's a lot of cooldowns you have to wait for, um, and it feels, and I suppose this might be by, by design, but to me it feels like they've tried to emulate the turn-based nature of most Final Fantasy games. Um, in an MMO that has real-time combat, and it just isn't very fun. Look at all those shack ramps. That's amazing. Oh, it's not really that amazing. So. I'm still hoping to get a better um, Bombardier's Rucksack, actually, so that we can have, like, five turrets out. Um, it's just that the difference between that and my current quiver was so much that I basically had to hold on to this quiver. I think there's still some enemies up there, but we're going this way. Um, this map can just be large and really confusing a lot of the time, um, trying to find the exits on it. Um, we may not even get to the exit, but it looks like there's some area down here that we haven't fully uh, explored, so we'll head down that way. Um, uh, helps if you don't vault into the enemies you're trying to get away from. Um, just a little uh, gameplay tip there. Um, yeah, Don't vault at the enemy you're trying to get away from because it won't work, and you'll probably die. I got lucky then, I didn't die, but sometimes you do. So we still haven't found where to go. Oh, it's over there, okay. Uh, so remember what I said about not standing in the purple stuff? Yeah, that's what happens when you stand in the purple stuff while you check your map. You die, so. And, um... Okay, so we got uh, Arane's, uh cave area here, which is good fun. Um, and we've got... Uh, this is a much more fun area to play than the last one, because there's no purple stuff that will kill you. It's a bit of a tradition in my videos at the moment that I die at least once, so I'm keeping to that tradition at the moment. Uh, it doesn't really matter, repair costs aren't enough to be that important at this stage of the game. I have like 60 million gold now, something like that. Um, mostly because I haven't been spending it on crafting stuff. Um, I should start crafting up better gems actually. Um, I've gone up to uh, the second to highest tier gem, which I've completely forgotten the name of. The ones that aren't royals, like Grand Royal or whatever it is. Um, I've gone up to those gems. Um, but it costs so much to actually make them that I haven't made many above that level. Um, but I am planning to once I have uh, the money to put them together. Because um, you've got to build them up, of course, from the ones that drop. And there's a couple of tiers in between that. So it's like, I think it's like 27 of the uh, marquee gems to get um, up to just one of those. And that's a lot of gem combining at fairly high prices, so... Okay. I love watching all the uh, chakrams fly across the screen there. It looks really cool. So. I'm trying to remember to use Mark for Death still. You'd think I've got the hang of that right now, given that we've been doing that since almost the start of the series. But I still forget a lot, and um, you probably notice it if you watch these videos uh, regularly that um, it doesn't come up anywhere near as often as it should if I was actually being diligent about keeping it up. Um, 
I haven't changed the rune on it. I still like the Contagion rune just because it spreads it around and it saves me having to put it up on every enemy I'm targeting. Oh, jeez. Ah. So, um, when you go to hit the potion key, don't hit the tab key instead. Um, is my piece of advice there. Again, providing you with important gameplay tips as we go through these videos. So. Anyhow, um... Hopefully by the time you read this, I'll have uh, two more episodes of Final Fantasy XIII up as well. Um, I had a problem with uh, the Final Fantasy XIII, I think it was episode 6, um, uploaded. It was such a big episode that it took a very long time to upload. Being in Australia, of course, I have to deal with essentially two tin cans wired together um, as my upload speed. Um, that's actually our broadband standard, by the way, in this country, and I'm actually on one of the fastest possible broadband standards, but I still have a very, very limited upload speed. So it usually takes more than a couple of hours, like, it can take four to five hours just to get a video uploaded. These videos don't take so long, usually it's about two hours for one of these videos, but the Final Fantasy XIII videos can take a lot longer um, to upload, and the one I did the other day, which is about 90 minutes long, took a good 12 hours to upload, and then YouTube decided that it was going to not process it properly. So it didn't actually go up um, after that. Um, fortunately now, by the time you watch this, it should have processed properly and it should be available to watch. Um, it's actually happening in the background while I'm playing this video. Um, but it kind of stuffed me around a little bit because it means that the episode after it has gone, become available first. So if you notice those two episodes are out of order, I'm not sure they will be, but I don't know for sure by the time we put this video together um, whether that's the case. So if they're out of order, that will be the reason why, but I'll probably do, uh, well, you'll know by now if you watch the videos that I've done, fan I've either done fancy stuff like put annotations in to explain the situation, or I haven't, um, in which case it'll just be confusing for everybody. So maybe I will do that. Anyway, we're nearly at the Rift Guardian. Probably just another couple of enemies away from doing that. Uh, might even be these enemies here that we get there. Um, I think we've had the Choker twice in a row now, so we'll see what we get here. Let's see if we can go for a hat trick of Chokers. Um, that'd be pretty funny. Very unlikely. Okay, so the Rift Guardian's all the way down there. And he's actually shown up on the minimap lot this time too. Um, probably have to fight a bit to get to him. Yeah, oh great. Not only are we going to have to fight, we're going to have to clear these guys. Wow. Okay, so... This is going to be really fun. Um, the Rift Guardian is Ember, so... Well, our chance for a hat-trick on the Choker is gone there. Ember is the... Uh, I can't remember what he does. Oh, that's right, he spawns mobs all over the place, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, jeez, this is going to be chaotic. Um, so, try and... I'm going to focus on trying to get these champions down first. Because they're the most annoying part here. Um, once these are gone, all the other mobs will sort of just be annoying but not dangerous. So, yeah, it looks like we've got it clear now, so it's just a case of killing this guy. Get that up. Do that. Yeah, vo vault into him. That was a really good idea. Um, me with the uh, mad strategies here. Yeah, he's going to go down pretty easily, as long as you stay out of those Meteor drops that he's got there. Um, and, uh. So the downside to the uh, turrets firing Chakram, of course, is they'll hit every enemy in the vicinity and just clear the hell out of everything. So that's kind of annoying, but not so annoying that we can't deal with it. Um, we're at a point now where Torment 6 isn't um, super hard for us. It just takes so long to kill everything, that's the only real problem. Um, but, assuming that, that crossbow is like a really good crossbow, um, like a better roll of a Treyu or something like that, then... Well, we got some other legendaries, so I will just clear everything out here, then we'll unlock those legendaries. Oh, I've run out of... Um, I filled up my blood shards, so I'll have to spend all those blood shards um, before we come back. So it looks like we've got everything cleared, so let's identify these. They're both weapons, I think. You can't um, look at one without looking at the other. Ah, so that's another Breeze at your cannon. Um, I had one of those uh, a while ago, and it's nowhere near as good as what I've got now. Um, so that will probably get uh, salvaged. And this is a thing. What is that? That's Slave Bonds. They are a better roll than what I've got, but 
they're replacing an all guild search that's ancient and gives me the two piece all guilds bonus so it's highly unlikely I'm going to end up using those anyway um, that's it for this rift one and I'll be back tomorrow with another one